Hi, everybody. Okay, in the last video, we, we bled the brakes, everything is good. Uh, the engine runs, all the leaks are done, so it's time to taxi around. But before we can taxi, we need to have the seatbelts in. As required by law, uh, in, engine startup, I mean, taxiing around, you're supposed to have your seatbelts on. So we're simply putting those in. Um, the one thing about these hooker harnesses, though, is they, they came with pressed bushings and the problem is they were too thick they were at least an eighth of an inch a quarter of an inch thick sorry and the spacing for the brackets or, or for the seat belts in the plane here is about an eighth of an inch so I had to grind those out by hand and then just made some simple spacers out of uh, some 5052 aluminum tube stock and then you know a couple of couple AN4 bolts washers etc later and we're happy and they fit marvelous too which I'm very happy with okay so but that's not what you're here for what you're here for is that it's time to do some taxi testing so with these belts in place and everything good uh, I put the camera and the um, up in the cockpit and didn't catch a single second of it. But that's okay because I have an alternate source for video. And there we go. So this is the security camera that the club we set up. Uh, out on the ramp, you can see up in the left-hand corner, it just says very plainly, AAC ramp camera. There's my buddy David Smith, who, in black, who's helping me out. And there we go, taxiing around. Now, real quickly, so you're going to hear me... Um, try to advance the plane forward and I think I do some prop cycling but you'll see uh, the plane tries to lurch forward because I, I'm trying to give it full power because the brakes aren't set there it was so I said you know what let's just taxi around left and right and burn each brake in so here we go there I did a little hairpin so yeah cue the yakety sacks because that's basically what it looks like. <laughs> anyway, taxiing went great. The brakes are outstanding. Just got to burn the crap out of them. Uh, and that's, you know, that's easy enough to do. So that's the first round. So now here's the second round. There's our chief pilot, Liz, and myself. She's riding along to make sure with the uh, fire extinguisher in her lap. So now that everything is taxiing around and happy, we're going to go over to the open parking across from where our hangars are, and we're going to open this thing up to a full throttle. We had also previously ran or taxied all the way down to the other end of the field and back and had done a bunch of brake, like hard braking to, to get it in. And it's just, here, let me, here, listen to the engine. You'll note that we're not actually staying in place. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yep, so that was full power for about a little over 10 seconds. And yeah, ran, ran fine. No explosions. Everything's good. So now we're just going to, <laughs> now we're just going to taxi down to our 3-3 three, three runway. Actually, we're going to taxi around it because we thought, eh, well, you know, while we're out here. The cylinder head temperatures are all fine. Now, granted, you know, it's Oakland, and we are on the good side of the hills here, so it's August, and it was 68 degrees out. So, you know, get, I couldn't even get the oil temperature over 100. And you can see I do various hard stops just trying to get it to, uh, just trying to seat those brakes. But yeah, so even at, at full power, this baby wants to go, so very exciting. 
All right, in the next video, we're basically, we're just going to finish up the very piddly last little things. Well, I keep saying that, but there's still more, so. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.